Hello, I'm Zhang Wei, a researcher from the University of Sydney, and I've been living in Sydney for more than six years. In October last year, my wife and I were excited to become parents for the first time to a little boy, Bao Xi. This is my cute little baby. But my parents live a long way away in a small town in China. Due to COVID-19, worldwide travel bans and closed borders, my parents haven't met their only grandchild in person. This has been difficult for all of us. Although our family communicates over video calls and we send them lots of photos, what they want more than anything is to cuddle him, to hold their only grandchild, to pinch his chubby arms and allow him to sleep, to touch him. Today, I'm developing a low delay communication method, which I hope will one day help families like mine to be able to touch over the internet. For a person to touch something or someone remotely using the tactile internet, a user would wear a highly sensitive glove, stylus, or other type of device, which can render the sense of touch and transfer that sensation to the user. At the other end, an actuator device, such as a robotic avatar, would mimic the movement of a human operator and collect the touch feedback using tactile sensors. For example, if my parents want to touch my son, they could put on some highly sensitive glove that allows them to control a robotic hand next to my son to reach through the internet and hold my baby's hand. Touch isn't the only way. For this to work, the robotic hand should be able to feedback information to the human operator on weight, texture, softness, warmth, or the chubbiness of my sound cheek. Here you can see how you can not only use a tactile internet to control a robotic arm, but you will be able to feel the weights and the textures of the objects in the virtual environment. This is important when precise, delicate handling is required, like in the manufacture of dangerous goods or chemicals, it will allow a human operator to work at a safe distance while doing work that requires expert skills and human touch. Using a robotic glove and a robotic hand to control and feel a sense of touch. My research is not about robotics, it's about communication to allow us to touch despite long distance that separate us. The current internet mainly supports the transmission of visual and audio media. But for tactile internet to work, we first need to reduce delay and increase reliability so that there is no perceptible lag. When your finger touches something, you feel it immediately. It transmits to the brain. Tactile internet needs to work the same way. Although 5G technology provides ultra-reliable low-latency communication for radio access networks, for long-distance communication of tactile internet, the major bottleneck is the speed of light, which is known as upper limit for the speed. So, to explain, Light or radio frequency signals can travel 200 kilometers per millisecond in fiber or 300 kilometers in the air. China, for example, is about 7,000 kilometers away from Australia. The propagation delay alone will be 35 milliseconds in the fiber and 23 milliseconds in the air which is much larger than the one millisecond required for the tactile internet to work. One way to reduce the delay is to predict the future state of the user, to predict what the movement my hand will make in tens or hundreds of milliseconds by using artificial intelligence. That way, we can send the predicted movement to the receiver in advance. Over the last few decades, 
the internet has dramatically changed the way we live. I believe that the tactile internet will redefine the way we interact with each other and with the world in the future. Just raise your hand. I want you to imagine what you could do if we could touch over the internet. You could feel a fabric when online shopping. A piano teacher from another country could teach you in a whole new way. A doctor could diagnose a medical condition for a remote patient, and technical experts could even conduct repairs on space infrastructure from down here on Earth. With tactile internet, the skills of experts can be delivered remotely. So let's take a glimpse of the more distant future of tactile internet. Here is a very early version of a prototype we are developing. The user can control the robotic hand to make a fist or open palm using just the human brain's electrical signal with the help of a brain-machine interface. In the future, the user could even feel the sense of touch transmitted back to them by stimulating some specific areas of brain. I call it the cerebral internet. At the current stage, invasive brain-machine interfaces are still needed for a highly reliable system. But in the future, this will no longer be necessary. A viable tactile internet or even cerebral internet would allow families to hug, colleagues to shake hands while geographically separated, and expert skills being delivered freely all over the world. While well, we hope my parents will be able to meet their grandson in person one day, soon the tactile internet will literally be able to keep us all in touch. <laughs>